friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And today I have a super fun project, but first of all, please don't mind me at all. I am not wearing any makeup. It is so hot outside. It is like 95 degrees and I can't stand that feeling of melting makeup. So, but today I have a really fun project to share with you and I will put these up closer so you can see, but these are fall badrials. So cute. So these I made with the Dollar Tree wood cutout stickers. So it comes with a pack of a bunch of them and then the Dollar Tree badge reels. These are the little button embellishments. But I used my Cricut to do the decal on these, but there are so many different ways that you can do these. So I'm going to move I'm going to move the camera so that you could actually see them close up, but these are really cute and really rather inexpensive to make. All right, so you guys, the shadow of the lighting is so bad right now. I'm so sorry, but look how cute these came out. So the nice thing with these, I did these with epoxy. You could do these with UV resin. You could use Mod Podge. You could use Crystal Clear. Like there are so many ways that you could do these. It doesn't have to be epoxy. It just happens to be what I like. And then I made these into badge reels. You could make these into pop sockets. Um, you could even do keychains with these, however, you know, you want to make them. So these turned out so cute. The, scale the scarecrows are from Dress It Up Buttons. And then I used the badge reels from the Dollar Tree. So you get four in a pack. So it makes them about 33 cents a piece. And then all of these actually came from the same pack. And then there was still some little embellishments left. So technically, this is a so this is a very inexpensive project. And they turned out so cute. Super cute. And of course, you put whatever you want on them. I used my Cricut to you know, make my decals for them. Really, really cute. So if you'd like to see the video of me putting it together and see everything that I use, just stay tuned. I'll be attaching that. And listen, I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. And this is a really easy way to use Dollar Tree products and make a great fall badge reel. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. All right, so we are going to do some easy badge reels for fall. And I'm gonna start with these guys here. So these are from the Dollar Tree. And there are these different pumpkins. So this wood one, I'm gonna leave it this way because I like it, but you could definitely, you know, paint it if you want to. You could put anything that you want on these. So I'm going to be doing this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So I will be putting these stickers that I did a print and cut with Cricut. All right, so I'm going to put these on. And anything that's excess, I'll just trim off. All right, so I also have these little scarecrows. I'm not putting them on just yet, but I'll just be putting like a little scarecrow on these two. So now we're gonna mix up some epoxy. So I have my epoxy made and I have this mat. I got it on Amazon quite some time ago, but it's a silicone mat with these little raised pieces. And I use this when I'm doing things just on the top. So if it drips over the back, it isn't like full of epoxy. 
I'm just going to cover it. I could also use a toothpick for this. I just happened to pick this up. I normally would use a toothpick. Now, I'm not going to put my scarecrow on yet just because I know that it will just slip and slide. And I want to make sure I'm all the way to the edges. So now sometimes it's hard to tell from the top if you've got everything. So if you just give it a little look from the side, you'll be able to tell. And these look really, really good. So we are going to just let them sit and cure for a few hours. And then we'll come back and I'm going to add the scarecrows to them. All right, so now i have these done so if you can see them they look really really good a little bit on the back that i had to like pull off no big deal and you know if you wanted you could always do your backs also but i'm just doing the front and here's this one these guys so these turned out really really cute they look good. They have a nice poxy layer on them. Now, I'm, if you want them like super, super thick, you could always do a second layer. I just chose to do one because I think it looks, I think it looks really good. Now, with these, for me personally, I like the epoxy on them. I think they look the best with it. You can use UV resin on these. You can use polyurethane. You can use Mod Podge. Like if you don't do resin or epoxy, you can still make nice badge reels out of these. All right. So I'm going to do the scarecrows next. Now, when you're, you know, tacking different things on them, you can use epoxy, you can use UV resin, you can use um, E6000, like whatever works for you. Now today, because these being thin like this, I don't want stuff just sliding all over. I'm going to put my scarecrows on and my badge reels on using UV resin today. So when you use UV resin, um, your UV resin will tell you how long it needs to be under the light. Mine is four minutes to tack. So I have my little scarecrows at four of them. And if you remember, these are the buttons. So I'm just going to cut off my little button backs. That was a long train. Yeah, I get the train and I get, because there's train tracks, of course, all the way down. And now they're building a train that goes from Orlando to Miami. So eventually I'll probably have even more train noise, which is fine. I, it doesn't bother me. I actually kind of like the sound of the train. And, um, and then, like I said, I have the hospital behind me. So I get the sirens. And then I have like woods and lakes behind me. So I get a lot of birds and that kind of noise too. So it's nice. So I'm just going to decide where I want my, my little scarecrows. You know, they could hang off the side. They could, you know, I mean, you put them wherever you want them. All right. So. When I tack these, what I do, I put, because I don't want them sliding all over, so I'll put just a little bit of UV resin and put them where I want them and then hold them and then put them under the light and I hold them like this for 10 seconds and then I set them down and just let them go. Again, I get these from Dollar Tree. As you can see, there's three in a pack, which makes them about 33 cents a piece. I mean, 33.33333, never ending, so about 33 cents. All right, so now, let's 
start with this guy here and I'll do the same thing. I'll hold it in place for about 10 seconds and then I'll set it down. All right, so our little guys are all cured. Our backs are on nice and tight. And our little bag reels. And our little scarecrows. So these turned out super, super cute. So this is just a really fun and different way that you could make some bad reels. Now you can see, you know, I was going to mention, you see mine have glitter all through them and you know, it's just sort of part of having glitter everywhere. Everything gets glitter on it. And you know, I just consider it my stamp. Everything has glitter. But anyways, these turned out really, really cute. And this um, like glitter pumpkin, really cute. I wasn't sure how it would stand up, so not bad. And then the other thing I wanted to mention when we were doing embellishments and I didn't. So remember, you have this page. All of these pumpkins still left on here. Like, so if you didn't want to do a scarecrow, or depending on your picture, like you could also use the extra little pumpkins as your, um, you know, pieces on here too, as your embellishments. You know, there's different colored pumpkins, so you could do that too. Here are these guys, and they are super cute and ready to use. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping in. I'll see you later. Bye.